Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit political and this video might upset some people. And this video is gonna be about why the Apple computer in a couple years won't be kind of used by many computer musicians and uh, electronic music making people. Um, I feel that they've completely lost touch with their let's say, professional consumer base in the audio realm. And this has been demonstrated over and over and over again. Um, I'm going to have to rewind a little bit. In 2005, around there, that's when I, I believe that uh, Mac computers went Intel. And that freaked out a lot of people. People thought that uh, their Firewire was going to go away. Um, and a lot of developers were like, oh my god, I need to code for a bunch of things. And uh, my power PC um, uh, plugins won't work anymore, which is true. They stopped working. Um, and it was a massive growing pain for uh, Apple to go Intel. And s since then, a couple years after that, it became the industry... Um, standard. The, the conceived, uh, the notion was that Apple was the industry standard for uh, creative people, music people, and artists. Uh, for the, somehow it ran Photoshop better than that. Somehow, um, than uh, PCs. Somehow it ran uh, music making software and sounded more warmer compared to PCs. There's actually an argument online uh, or a or an idea online that um, Logic sounded more analog than uh, than Ableton. Ableton was a digital sounding toy. People claimed to be able to tell the difference between Ableton and Logic, and yeah, there was this huge fanboyism, and that's when the the, the mark the the I'm a I'm a Mac I'm a PC that uh, commercial the marketing worked. A lot of people bought into it. And uh, a lot of people started using Macs and Logic and stuff like that. A couple years after that, Apple has demonstrated that they're willing to change things and inconvenience people. Um, hooking up a FireWire port to my PC was very easy. It's been stable for years. Um, the backwards compatibility of things is pretty good. Um, Vista was a little bit rocky. Uh, Apple has removed the headphone jack from their iPhones. Um, they have released updates that have effectively broke a lot of VSTs. Um, seems like every update breaks something. Um, in the VST world, the digital audio workstation world, and like all these companies have to investigate <laughs> what they actually did. Um, they don't have developers kind of on their side. They're not like, hey, we're rolling out this thing. You want to make sure that your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, I cannot get machine to work on my laptop. Um, I cannot update my MacBook Pro because if I do, it won't be able to see my um, my FireWire uh, sound card. I remember when an update broke some USB ports and um, people ran around claiming that Apple just works. They don't have the best interests of uh, computer musicians in mind. And this is being demonstrated again because, uh, this is a rumor, but uh, Apple is moving away from Intel, and they want to design their own chips for their uh, computer devices, uh, as far as I know. And if they do that, uh, we don't have FireWire anymore. So your Apollo card won't work, things like that. They'll change things around. They might even remove the headphone jack. They might use this, you know, weird mini USB-C, like who, who the hell knows? These things have been, it's been demonstrated that they just keep on changing things and inconveniencing people 
for this, they, they, they're chasing this strange notion of they want to innovate. They're, they're innovating by getting rid of the headphone jack. Like, are you serious? And then you need to get a thing to plug into the bottom to use a headphone jack, which is also the same thing that you plug your charger into. So like, who, what, what's going on here? Like an iPhone is, ha like uh, the <laughs> originally the iPhone was a phone, an internet device, and an iPod all put into one. If you take the iPod part out of it, Steve Jobs remains turned in his grave or in his cremation jar or whatever. These things just don't make sense to me. And if, if I want to have something, if I want to have the freedom to have the I.O. that I want, why would I go with a, a, a Mac laptop? Why would I go with a, a tower where, yeah, you can get a PCI slot to kind of ploop in to have the Firewire or Thunderbolt, maybe. I'm not sure Thunderbolt works that way. Uh, and you just, who knows if there's drivers available, if they work, things like that. I think, I think the, and I've seen this actually, I have some proof. Um, the... OS, I can see the operating system demographics on this YouTube channel. They're actually going down. They're down 10% from last year. I'll repeat, Apple products, uh, desktop, not counting phone and stuff like that, like like laptop, like devices, like computer, keyboardy, real work devices have gone down 10%. And mind you, I'm doing Ableton, but Ableton works on both platforms. And yeah, it's just a, a, a bananas thing that they're doing and that they have done and they've demonstrated that they don't care. Um, and yeah, this, they just, they make their, their big nut every year with a new iPhone release and they want to make their own CPU that's more quote unquote power efficient and yeah, it's just one of those bananas, bananas things. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my soapbox. Uh, I'm a fan of. I'm not. I'm not really a fan of uh, Apple products. I have a, a laptop, a Mac laptop from 2009, and I have my desktop that is by far more powerful and capable. And yeah, there's just a lot of problems. I can't update my laptop. And I can use Windows 7 drivers on my Windows 10 machine, and it works fine. My uh, FireWire drivers are from 2004, and they still work on uh, my PC to this day. Anyway, I rest my case. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Hope you learn stuff, food for thought, etc., etc. I'm a little bit, uh, I, I underestimate my ability to uh, recover. I want to start making more videos. It's just uh, recovery is a little bit more difficult. My, uh, my thumb still has the lines on it. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, moving forward. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and have a good one.